Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2015 set 2 guys. The given question is, host A sends a UDP datagram containing 8880 bytes of user data. Okay, so they are saying it is exactly 8880 bytes of user data to host B over an Ethernet LAN. Okay, so Ethernet frame may carry data up to 1500 bytes. So we can, it is saying we can carry only 1500 bytes at a time. So basically inside this also you will, you need to remove that header part. So basically we can transfer only 180 bytes of data because they told that header length is 20 bytes. Okay, so they are saying the UDP header size is 8. Okay, so if it is the size, so I think we need to add it here, right? Yes, so the total length of data, so basically it will work in this way guys. I think there will be few students who are confused. So basically if this is the whole data of UDP, so this whole data of UDP will be placed, so including header. So basically header plus whole data, so this whole thing will be placed inside our next part. So what is our next part? That is nothing but our IP, IP field, right? Yes. So this whole data gram will be put inside the IP. So along with that IP address will be there, right? So it's a header will be there, right? Yes. So with that, now you got an idea, right? So that is the reason why we are adding here and this whole data should be transferred with the help of this 1480 because the header is just a waste of a space, right? Yes. Okay, so now what they are asking is, there is a no option field in the IP header, okay. So how many total number of IP fragments will be transmitted and what is the content of the offset of the last fragment, okay. So this is an interesting question, right, yes. So for solving these type of questions, there are two approaches, guys. So the first approach is directly solve it on paper, like step by step, step by step. So that approach will be really easy to solve and it will be 100% accurate because there will be no silly mistakes in it because we are calculating it manually, right, yes. So first of all, let us do that and I will be showing you some other trick also. Okay. Yes. So let us just start. So basically you will start at zero. Okay. You, your goal is to store that much. So basically before starting storing, always divide your value with the eight guys. We are getting an exact divisible so that this data is allowed. Okay. So it is nothing but a 1479. Okay. So the next part is, a, so I'll be directly multiplying it with the two guys into two. That is a nothing but a 2959. This is a nothing but a 1480. So in this way you can solve it manually, right? Yes. So just to give me a second, I'll be just solving it a bit fast now. Okay. So it is a nothing but a 4439. It is a nothing but a 5919. Sorry, my bad. Two multiplications I give. Okay, so it is a nothing but a seven four double zero. It is nothing but seven uh, three nine nine into six. That is nothing but eight eight uh, seven nine. And at the end we are having a seven that is equals to ten thousand three sixty. So till where it will be enough, guys? Uh, it is not 10,360, it is 10,059. Okay, yes. So our goal is to send 8,888 bytes. So to be clear, we need this packet also, but in the last packet, the data will be really less, right? Yes. So let me write down the initial values also, so that it will be more clear for us. It is nothing but 5920. The initial value is a 7400. Uh, the initial value is 88. 80 okay yes so it has been started at 8880 so now the question is so this packet full 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 this packet will be having only 8 bits right yes so now what they are asking is how many packets in total did we need so we need 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so basically we need 7 packets to send this much amount of data so with that understanding i can say that option a and b are compulsory wrong so now the next part is offset so recall what is offset guys offset is nothing but the first value divided by 8 so the triple eight zero divided by 8 it is nothing but triple one zero so option c is the correct answer got it yes so it's a quite easy question right yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea about this huh? and if you want to solve it directly okay so someone will be like okay so in that question it is really less but what if in that question if there is one more zero extra so basically instead of 8880 it is given as 80 lakhs or 80 in that way. So if it is really high, what you will do? Will you solve it step by step? So then you can apply a smaller trick, guys. Huh? So this trick could be applied. So the trick will look in this way. 
okay guys i don't remember the formula so that is the reason why i will be remembering these kind of tricks so basically how much data i want to send guys i want to send this much amount of data right 8888 so in each packet how much can i send i can send up to 480 only okay so indirectly what is the result i need 6.00005 so basically how many packet do i need to send this much data guys if i take only six packets this left out data that is 0.05 data will not be sent so that is the reason why i am forced to take seven packets got it yes okay so once you understood that you need seven packets the first two options are gone okay so now we need to calculate this value right yes so basically if i am taking seven packets okay so in each packet i can take 480 into 7 so this is the last value right yes but i am going to find the initial value we want right yes so that is the reason we will multiply with 6 you will get 8880 so this is our starting address so this if you divide it by 8 you will get the offset so that is what the offset got it yes so now you got an idea right yes so these type of problems can be done without even using pen and just using the virtual calculator you can solve it guys got it yes but please always concentrate while reading the question guys because if you forgot that here 8 should not be added you will place uh, a as the answer guys the question is a really clever question guys because he gave all the options are reasonable so basically the first two options says for this the second two options says for this so in that way so basically if you missed this 8 you will get a as an answer as we successfully took it we got c so basically always remember in this way guys so basically if you are having some tcp or udp values so if that value wants to go inside a ip header so it will fit inside so basically got it yes so that is the main reason why it this whole data or including header plus data is completely read as data. So that is the reason why we should send all this. So header should not be subtracted there. Got it? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.